It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Raiders and the Bulls, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. It was only open in 2020, but quickly became one of the league's most recognizable venues. Open at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many chicks in the NFL, I hope this goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yeah. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience, more than likely is going to come away with the win. Turn start to the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. But now up comes the Charger offense for their initial drive of the game. They'll be let out by the fifth year pro who can really fill up a stat sheet, Justin Herbert. True story. First time I saw Justin Herbert in a Pac-12 media days, I thought that can't be Justin Herbert. That guy looks like a defensive lineman. He is massive. But then you watch him play and you realize he's one of those six foot five, six foot six guys that's the athlete of a six two. The way that he moves so effortlessly, the way that rocket arm could throw the ball all over the field, and hyper, hyper productive statistically. Kind of like that Fouts guy that wore the lightning bolt before him on any given Sunday, this guy can put on a show. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Here's a given side to Edwards. And he'll be taken down after advancing this to the 37. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. You know, coach gets in that QB's headset, probably told his offense and his QB, listen, I don't want to see a third down on this possession or something kind of like that. Whatever version he told him, it worked. Here's Herbert. Short pass caught by his tight end. And they'll take him down at the 43 yard line. Third and four coming up now. They go play action here. Four step to his right. Chargers will have a first. I can tell you what, that was the goal from the moment he took off. Kept his eyes locked on the chains and made sure he set them up with a new set of downs. Well done. So far, so good to begin this one as they've got a new set of downs beyond midfield. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's going to be blocked out at the 35-yard line. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it brings up an L.A. first down. We know how hard explosive plays can be in the NFL. And so often they come via the air. What a great help for the offense to find an explosive play on the ground. Well done. They go play action on first. On the move. Hit it right. And here he goes. Oh, man, those defensive players hate slipping quarterbacks. Near impossible to keep him hedged in or corral him behind the line there. He evades him long enough to turn a potential loss into positive yardage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Takes the handoff. Now to throw. And Raiders get there and take him down. 
Then pushes him back. Third down coming up. Kate, I've seen a, a one-step drop. I've seen a three, a five, a seven. Some of the boots and play actions get more depth. But a 20-step trap? <laughs> That's not going to cut it. Except for this defense, it just adds a whole bunch of negative yards to that play. And it's a nickel look by the Raiders. Third down coming up. Throwing from the gun. This ball's caught by Palmer. And he's able to get this down to the 36. I know on the stat sheet, Kate, that shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. So on fourth down, on comes Cameron Dicker and the Chargers for a field goal try. Ball on the left hash, the distance 53 yards. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. I know they love that golf adage, drive for show, putt for dough, but it's awfully nice to drive for show and to have that kind of weapon in your back pocket. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So now we have the Raiders for their first possession. They're led out by the mustache quarterback from Washington State, Gardner Minshew. Gardner's the kind of guy that you just say his name. You just look at him there with the mustache in the huddle. He just puts a smile on your face. And oh, by the way, he tends to elevate the people around him. Last year in Indianapolis, filling in for Anthony Richardson, yeah, it was only 15 touchdowns on paper. And then he made that team believe, that city believe. And he's hoping to do the same here in Vegas. And this one goes to the 33 yard line before it's stop. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable. And it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. transition from the college game to the pro game, they'll tell you, there's just times in the NFL you got to run into darkness. You run into a lot of bodies. Perfect example of that in the first down play. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Throwing now, Herbert. That's complete. It's lucky from Georgia. And this one's back to a at the 36 yard line. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. Chargers will have a first. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to move in the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. First down, ball at the 36. Out of 
the gun. They'll give it to him inside. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. the play fake, he's gonna throw. may want to try and disguise their run a little bit. I don't know if it's the old lineman's stance. I don't know if it's a cadence. I don't know what it is, but after two straight plays going backwards, this defense is all over it. Gotta figure out this third down here. Herbert. Fires over the middle. Cops. And he's down after getting this up to the 41. You've got to be cognizant of where the line to gain is. You can't run that route short, and you certainly can't throw it. That route's just not deep enough. Needed to extend it closer to the chains for a first down. So on fourth down, here's J.K. Scott on to punt it away for the Chargers. And he's got this fair catch right along the 12-yard line. So no return on that punt. And the Raiders' drive is going to start deep on their own side of the field. Now they'll throw out of the gun. That's taken in by Tucker. And he'll get it up to the 27. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. And they've got themselves another first and ten. Out of the gun, Madison. And he's brought down for the There is no thought needed from him. He has been doing this so long, getting back to college and high school. Those instincts... They come at you with a capital I. Identify that one, fire downhill, and get home in the backfield before that play can get started. Here's second and 11. Ooh, and that was just incomplete. Made the catch, but he ran out of real estate there on the sideline. The best of the best, they just have this intuition, Kate. They know where the boundary is without looking. This receiver's not quite at that level yet. He lost track of where he was, and he brought it in. special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive. So the big play gets him inside the opposing 45. Brock with a new set of downs to boot. Play action on first down. He gets this one to play. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Working inside the red zone. Came here with a hot throw there as it winds up incomplete. Okay, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anyone on the field. But in this close, 
You really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Just a field goal separates these two. We're back to SoFi right after this. We're back and excited to start this second quarter. You excited? We're excited. Raiders in a nice spot here to put up some points. Here's the game on third and short. as he made his way in for six. You know, you run the ball down in the red zone, Kate, you're not always thinking touchdowns, right? Space is so hard to come by. But you, you're exactly right. His athleticism, his explosion, his speed, it puts six on the board for the offense. Daniel Carlson on for the PAT. splits the uprights and they'll continue adding to their lead Textbook first down completion sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. Second and three now. From the 37. Pressure comes and he's taken down. The Raiders got him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. It's looking like a dreaded three and out offensively. But listen, if you can't keep your quarterback clean and upright, you're going to need some magic, big time magic, to convert on this third and long. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. They have third and four. Throwing off the play fake here. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. Hey, Kate, you know that line, time is of the essence? <laughs> it certainly is in the pocket. Not enough time there to let that play develop down the field. And the two were not able to reel it in. So once again, J.K. Scott out to punt it away. Ooh, it's away, but he knows he missed it. That one headed for the sideline. This punt out of bounds on the fly. We're waiting for the mark. Looks like they're going to say it's short of the 30. The Raiders and Alexander Madison ready for another go on offense. They really have a passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. 
Kate, he gets up to that second level, 15, 20 yards. We're rooting for him to take it to the distance. It's hard to do. It's tough to make a game like this happen in the NFL, but as you saw, still even tougher to take it to the house. Sticking with Edwards here. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano a mano and stop this guy. You've got to have the cavalry coming. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on because one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to run right through you. Here's second and five. Escapes the pocket. <laughs> Ooh, so close to a big play defensively there, Brock, but now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. They do. Got to bring a little bit of juice, but kind of like a boxer when they get a guy cut, they know. Mm. Man, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. Before the snap, some early movements. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. Thought he had the time in down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. After the flag, they've got third and nine to figure out. Now Herbert to throw. they couldn't recover. I'll tell you what else it forces, though. That coordinator, that play caller on the other side, now got a little bit of doubt about his ball handlers. Got to have better ball security than that. To the end of the end zone, incomplete. And that throw came pretty clean out of his hand. Just looked like it didn't get through the defense clean enough. Somebody tips it away and saves a potential completion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. On the give, this is Edwards. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. 
six yards to pick up there. That's going to bring up third and four. So on fourth down, on comes Cameron Dicker and the Chargers for a field goal try. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead back down to a lower point. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Things trimmed back down to a single point broke as they send this off and away. His return starts at the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Out comes Las Vegas on offense. They didn't add to their lead last time out, so they punted it away, but still ahead and able to add to it here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Minshew. In with the hands of Tucker, complete. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Minshew looking to throw. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. With a hand off up the gut. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. It was University of Wisconsin, Kate, the first time I heard this tune. Slow tune, explode through. And think how good that Badgers run game has been at the college level. Well, they made runs like that look easy. Slow tune, explode through. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Off the play, fake. He's going to throw. Fails out of the pocket quick. He's keeping it. It's out of his way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They're going play action. Follow. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Back now, pressure on its way. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. He manages a gain of eight there. And that's a Vegas first down. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. Keep this drive moving and come to the line for first and ten. We put a receiver in motion here left. Minshew.
Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. Second and ten now. He's going deep this time. The shot down field will not be complete. That throw doesn't lead to six. So they're not facing third and long. Whew. I think the coverage got away with one right there, Kate. There was actually space. And that throw came out one second earlier. Kate, that may as well be listed on his resume because he's so good at it. Caught that one near the line, and after that, it was all him. Turning a modest pass into far more than a modest game. All right, set now. First and ten. Up the middle, they go with Madison. advancing the football pretty well. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. And has it. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Okay, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. First is man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. That play right there, Kate, that just goes to show you, you can't take any completion for granted. Even some of the shortest passes in the game plan. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here's Herbert. Chargers will have a first. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. 
They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. They'll throw it again. Able to get it to Edwards. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. It's second and five. From the 38. Life is it, and it's caught. He's able to get this to the 32 before going down. That one ends up again a six. And it brings up an L.A. first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. The as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free, incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. So that brings up second down. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. <laughs> Now it's Cameron Dicker on for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. Set of downs for him from the 46. Looking to throw. Into traffic. Complete. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Good to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. 
The Chargers were led in the first half by their star quarterback, Justin Herbert. He had a touchdown pass in that first half, helping his guys to a halftime advantage. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. And what we saw in the first half wasn't an anomaly partner. They kept throwing it to him as we worked throughout the rest of this game, and the results have been just as good. Now get this drive started. First and ten. Now run. This is Madison. And he'll get this up to the 29-yard line. He made him six on the play, bringing up second and four. player down there. He'll receive some assistance as we step aside. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Throwing now. Off play action. Buying some time right. We can run it. That goes as a game at 25 yards and picks up the first. Obviously a defense wants to take it over to prevent any kind of big throw for the first down. Fine. Well, this QB, he'll just lower his head and gash the defense with one of the biggest runs of the game. And a new set of downs. 
You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Option design here. And this one does not go far. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. Come up first and ten. From the red zone now. Taken in at the eight. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Raiders have their offense back out there. Now their last drive, not the one they want to replicate after they were forced to put in the
first down, and the downs counted here. And no doubt about it, Kate, you grew up watching and celebrating Jerry Rice running that exact route, didn't you? <laughs> yes, sir. You know it. You know it. <laughs> he was so good at it. Every receiver could do it some of the time, but Jerry and the best of them, they do it all the time, just like that one right there. Carlson now to add one more. One right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. The Chargers are being led back out on offense by Justin Herbert here. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. They're out and set. First and ten. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. That's one of those play-action plays they've repped over the week during practice. They're both quarterback and tight end. Went to bed last night thinking, man, I hope this one's called. And when it is, I hope you have just a little space to operate. That play-action works beautifully. And the tight end, the beneficiary. Great start to the drive. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield after just one play. Option give here. And he's caught behind the line for a long why you often see some mix, some high percentage pass plays on first to ten. You've got to keep the defense honest. They're always looking for a run in that situation, a chance to stack them up for second and long. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. On the ground, it's Edwards again. And this is through the midfield stripe and onto the Raiders' side of the field. Give him six yards on the run. So it's going to be third and five. scouts talk about a player's closing speed kate you know once he senses the pressure he's getting rid of that ball it takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and that sure altered the throw and there won't be a return here this punt is out of bounds they'll say inside the 40. a good starting spot for the raiders as they come up first and ten Throw here out of the gun. Short pass caught by his tag. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Big game, 14 on the play. And that's good for a Raiders first. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Here's Madison. Caught a no gain on that run, and they finish second and ten. Thank 
three that time. That's going to bring up 37. Motioning Myers right. be the quarterback or be the <laughs> analyst? <laughs> the unbiased observer of football. Sure, sure. Well, the quarterback's going to say, that's all me. That's a beautiful arc. Don't you love that touch? Yep, the yep. receiver's going to say, yeah, but I'm the one who brought it down for you. The answer is it's both, and that was awesome. Carlson, the tech on the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Carlson, all set now for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Charger offense making its way to the field. They struggled to produce on that last series, but better results ahead as they take possession here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Caught on the left side. And he's short the first after a mild game. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 32. Break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. Take the second end zone, but that one's incomplete. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. Gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time. Well, he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. A tight end in motion now. They'll try and punch it in. And they'll make the stop after a small push to the five. He gets two on that run. That brings up third and goal. Touchdown, it's checked down, it's throw the ball away. You're literally throwing points away with that pick. Now Minshew.
Minshew. Has a man, it's Madison. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's in the first. At that down and distance, this group is pretty confident the screen would get him enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. This is the end of the third quarter. It's the Raiders' ball. A chance at a win if they can hang on to this lead. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. Able to hit ball, complete. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. To throw, Herbert. You know, Kate, my years in Indianapolis with Peyton, he loved to know the tendencies of the defense. In third and short, more often than not, all across the league, you get man-to-man -man coverage. It really is a good time to throw. Unfortunately, couldn't execute that pass in the fourth downs instead. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. And those legs must be tired, but he ain't stopping, Brock. Not with the type of game that he's been having for himself on the ground.
play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And the holes, they don't get anything on their own. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. He's lucky to get back to the line, and I think he knows it, too. That play was in trouble early. With how well the defense Kate led it from the beginning. And he did his best just to get back and break even. Another carry for it. home and delivers the devastating blow. This offense ready to get going again now. They've got first down from the 31. Now we give to Edwards, running left. Best run games in this league at balance come on inside, and as they just showed right there, doing damage on the outside. One play in, and this drive is already in the enemy territory. Sticking with Edwards here. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. First down play, that's in five. It's going to be second and five. tester for the defense to gauge how well it can account for the quarterback when he decides to run it. Third and just two to go. Execution. And I'll speak for both of us here when I say this, Kate. You can't help but be amazed watching some of these runs. All the chaos on the field. All the massive humanity you've got to sort through to make a big play on the ground like we just watched. First down from the red zone. Trying to connect, but it winds up incomplete. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They send the tight end in motion left. They'll run now on second down. And this one's stopped at the three yard line. A nice pick of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. Pretty obvious, this defense. I mean, they need more people around the line of scrimmage. But the minute you do that, Kate, start opening up those throwing lanes. This is how balance takes apart a defense. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. They give it to him again.
Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. His return stuck to the five. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Time for the Raiders' offense to hit the field. They find themselves down here in the fourth after that touchdown. This game could end up depending on how they respond right here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Set to work here. And the last time they had it, they ran it down the field on them. I'd expect some better resistance up front if they try that again. So just like all touchdowns, all turnovers also reviewed, and they want to take another look at this one. Yeah, pretty bang bang play out there. It's tough to see exactly what happened on our first look in real time. But you know what I like here, and I do appreciate, and these officials are so good at let the play just play itself out yeah. before calling it dead. Now all the replays and the camera angles will give us such a better idea of really what happened. So the nice defensive play, all for not. He was down first, no fumble. They bring on the punt team, and they get this kick away. Oh, they are loving this one. It flies out of bounds, and it wasn't too far off the end zone. They're going to say it crossed at the three. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing from near his own goal line. Kyle in a shallow throw. And all he's able to do is get them a touch more space to the four. Just stay on schedule. Just stay on schedule, right? SOS. Bad thing on a ship. 
Good thing on a football field, even a little completion keeps this offense on schedule. It's the two-minute warning here in L.A. Chargers holding on to a field goal lead. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Running behind center with Edwards. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. And now the Raiders call for the first of their timeouts. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. getting huge right he was envisioning the return and he simply dropped it got to secure that pick before you think of anything else on their own end zone and he gets it away and they bring him down to put a stop to that return call that a bunch of 47 yards and the Raiders are gonna like where they get to start out for this drive and set it down score at the 38 You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. So now on fourth down, the Raiders elected to send Dan Patterson out of the field goal. The 49 run in front of him here. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that ties this game in the final minutes. These are the moments, Kate, when you realize how valuable a clutch kicker is. When he's the only guy out there and everybody relying on him, and he delivers. Paulson, I'll send out for the kickoff. There's a return from the seven. Find some space. He's past the 30. And a good return here. He gets it up past the 35. And he has kept his pace up in the second half. His quarterback more than happy to keep throwing it his way, considering what he's been able to do with these looks all game. Looking to throw it. So pass cut by his tight end. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Timeout call by the Chargers. They're first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. In quite the time crunch here, Brock, but still two timeouts to burn. It's first down. Here he is to throw. Able to get it to Edwards. And he's going to be blocked down after reaching the 43. Timeout taken by the offense. They're second. Still one more in their pocket to use. here for the offense. It's second and one.
So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. So the penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. Wow, they must really trust in this guy's range. He's out for what would be a very long field goal. A timeout taken by Vegas. That's it, second. Still one more in their pocket to use. The Chargers sending out Dicker the kicker to add three to the board. From the right hash, 55 yards out. of an NFL kicker, a chance to be a hero, and unfortunately, he can't end this one. And now, well, now it's incumbent upon his teammates to pick him up and maybe give him that game-winning opportunity coming up in overtime. Throwing now. This to win the game. Conclusion will be just as exciting as our opening four quarters. The kick is away here in overtime. Here's a return from the seventh. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Another drive coming up for this offense. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. There's a give up the middle. Six-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's good for a Raiders first. That's the kind of run that shows he's trying to take some stress off the passing game to provide big plays. What a great help to that side of an offense when the ground game can deliver chunk plays, too. Back to back carries here. And he'll go down and we'll see right at the 39. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight.
come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. Hey, Kate, they don't rightly care who it's going to go to in that situation. All they really care about are the results on third down. And that's exactly the result they needed enough to keep this track moving. for the snap, and that's going to give the offense some free yardage. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. They'll run here following the penalty. And he's in for the touchdown. The Raiders parlay the turnover into a lead. Brock, not sure the play they were running was all that disguised, but with the personnel they had out there, it was going to be tough to stop them either way. Yeah, there's a great debate. Is it the X's and O's or the Jimmy's and Joe's? <laughs> yep. No debate there. That was the Jimmy's and the Joe's in their want to to run it right down their throat. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Concept, sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. Escapes the pocket. He can run it. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. See how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Back to throw. Here's Herbert. And the Chargers will have a first. I think my favorite 
part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. What a spot for a big play, huh, Brock? It has him well into the red zone now with first and ten. Now there's the flag. It looks like the jump came from the left side of the line. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And, well, they got one of them to move that time. Herbert. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Herbert, back to throw. After that prior incompletion, we've got third down. To throw, Herbert. Almost had six, but can't find him in the end zone. Incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. So many coaches love third downs and practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game already out of hand. Coaches know, got to execute and convert on these third downs. He's going to look to throw on fourth down. It's caught. And he will score. The Chargers cut to a low point on the scoreboard. Dicker on now for the PAT. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Dicker all lined up and ready to boot it away. It's going to be taken in at the 8. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Raiders and this running back headed back out for a new series. And I think we can agree the plan to keep him out of the end zone and it hasn't quite worked so well for this defense, at least not yet. He scored twice, really been the one his group can turn to for a spark or a big play when they've needed it.
Jones with the first down yardage. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. So here they are, a chance to win this with a field goal. This 32 yards out, it's on the right hatch. And it is good, no problems there on a shorter attempt. And they've taken back the lead. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. So the Chargers come away with the win in this one. And they only needed to set him up with a shot to connect and win it with three. And his aim was true to make it happen and put an end to this competitive ball game. 